This is the raw, real, uncut conversation that me and another sister in Christ, she gonna say her name, Lachey. We had this conversation yesterday um, after she got off live. And she was like, yo, we need to call Alyssa and let her know. And I'm just thinking, no, I really don't want to call her. But at the same time, we do need to call her. So this is the conversation that we had after the live when we was in her live chat telling her, yo, you're lying. You're false. Like, repent. And when she was on live, she was letting people shred us, saying that we was attacking her, that we was coming for her, that we need to go repent. And the thing is, she didn't know that her name came up to prayer in, in prayer uh earlier that day and the lord was revealing that yo she's in deception like i didn't send her she's operating in witchcraft so you know we got them to come and tell you yo you need to repent so on and so on and um christina was in there i was in there and shay was in there and we was just warning her like yo this is your warning and the lord uh was basically saying y'all need to tell her now because y'all done rebuked her in private and she's still not listening so we had this conversation and I recorded the whole conversation. And in a, on a recording, she's admitting to everything. Admitting that she was in divination and witchcraft. Admitting that she was wrong and getting things wrong. Admitting it. Admitting it all. So I'm just thinking to myself, why didn't you say that on your live? You said that you was going to upload the truth and be honest and repent. But you failed to do so. And I can honestly say that it irked me because we have been rebuking Alyssa in private for months. Because when I first started talking to her, the Lord was revealing something is off about this one. Like, I don't know. And, you know, I was spiritually dull and I stuck around to see what that something was. And the longer we stuck around, the more the Lord revealed. And Shay was having dreams that Alyssa was getting high. And I'm like, this girl ain't got no access to weed. She knows she's not supposed to be doing that. Like, I don't know where this dream is coming from. Lo and behold, it was a warning that when she got back to Texas, she was getting high. The money that the Lord was blessing her with, people's donations that was donating to her, helping her. And she was saying that she need money for Airbnb. She took that money and funded witchcraft and bought weed. I straight up asked Alyssa because the Lord was revealing it to me. I said, Alyssa, are you getting high? Pause for a minute. And then she told me the truth. Okay. I, I knew that. I just wanted to ask you because I just wanted to know what you're going to tell the truth. Lo and behold, she told the truth. Then we were fasting at one point and the Lord literally told me she's eating. She's eating on this fast. So everything that she was doing, I would ask the Lord would reveal. And sometimes I wouldn't even ask and he'll just reveal. She, she, she broke that fast. And I asked Alyssa, yeah, I did. I ate this and that. And I said, I knew. I just wanted to ask you to see what you're going to be honest. Because I just want to make sure it's not me and my flesh. But no, the Lord really told me you broke the fast. The Lord really revealed that you're getting high. The Lord is revealing that you're fornicating. We're calling you for prayer and you over there rolling blunts. But you want to get on live today and let the people shred us like we're attacking you. Nobody knew who Christ made connections was, but you want to name drop and say Misha T. Now Misha is on the camera today. Put in a raw, real, and uncut out. And she made a, a live today, Monday, October the 2nd, because she we had this conversation that I recorded yesterday. And she said, I'm going to get on there. I'm going to repent. I'm going to tell the truth because people's souls need to get saved. But you get on YouTube today, Monday, October the 2nd, 2023, and you start... Saying, I'm going to expose. You're trying to expose. You're supposed to be repenting. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're trying to save space and you're supposed to be saving your soul. And I know it seems like I'm in my flesh right now because I'm going to be honest, I am. Because you didn't stand in integrity. You got people looking at me and Christina like we attacking you. People thinking that uh, Christina Page is, is, is fake. Oh, that's not the real Christianos. That's, it was. It was. And no, we wasn't attacking her. We wasn't. Not at all. I gave Alyssa a word before she left Texas. And the Lord told me to tell her, do not neglect the secret place. Sin is crouching at your door. Well, what sin is that, Lord? Weed, fornication, lying, divination. But everybody in your, your, your live section yesterday in the chat thinking that Misha, Christina, and Lachey is just attacking you. What happened to your truth that you were supposed to put out?
You're saving face when you're supposed to be saving your soul. You're trying to expose because you don't want to be in this alone. Woe to you. I have never got on YouTube and did no clap back. This is so messy to me, but at the same time, you're not going to play with me. You're not going to sit here and paint this image of me. You're admitting that you was in witchcraft and voodoo, but you didn't say that yesterday. Well, what's going on? Oh, the truth in this next video. Let's take a listen. And oh, Alyssa, when you see this video, you know good and darn well that I never were curse your marriage. You was laying in the bed with your man. While me, you, and Lachey was on the phone praying that you and Larry get delivered from the sorcerer that y'all are done. I'm word cursing your marriage, but I pray that you and your man will prosper. I prophesied over you. I never prophesied over you. Uh, uh, aside from the time the Lord told me to give you that word, that prophetic word. I never curse your marriage. I never met you in person ever met you in person never had nothing against you i word curse your marriage and i'm jealous of you that's what you said in your live today but on the phone misha oh i love you so much girl if you don't get up out my face you and your man leviathan that's your kingdom spouse if you don't break up with him larry ain't your man leviathan is yeah, I, it may seem like I'm in my flesh, but you don't ever say that I prop falsely prophesied over you and put a word curse over your marriage. You're fornicating. You're cursing your womb. Tamisha didn't put no, no curse on you. You did that to yourself. Please come correct because I'm going to get, no, the Lord is going to get you together. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Oh, you going to learn today. You will. I was a true friend of you. A true friend. I help you with everything crypto. Help you with everything. It is not about what I did for you. It's the image that you put out there for me. And you're going to expose? You got receipts, but I got your voice with you admitting you was in witchcraft. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Why not? Should, should, I, should, I, should, I get, should I get off guard while we on the phone for other people to you and Misha on the phone there was a lot of uh, correction done there was a lot of conviction done 
God was getting on me about stuff. I had to come out of agreement with a lot of stuff, and I started going through deliverances. He was teaching me how to do stuff deliverance. So within these last couple of weeks, guess what? I don't got me Sheila Che to talk on the phone, so guess what? I don't got no people to talk on the phone, because y'all was the main two I talked to. And Larry don't be here. He be gone all the time, so I'm just here by myself, my son and my grandma. So guess what God did? He allowed us to go through uh, the separation and stuff like that, and then now it just be in God. So it now it was, it was yes, it was me and God. God. He took faith in me. He let me know the stuff that I got wrong, the prophecies and everything. You have to get. You have to be. When I say that there is that there is, I'm not judging you. But the Bible did Elijah. Did we know when uh, when Isaiah was practicing uh, getting his prophet, prophecies in air? We don't know that. We knew what was right in the Bible. We can't go by what he got wrong. So before yeah. you publicize God's word, we talking about sitting there, and I'm going to just use Christina as an example because I watched her. She makes sure she's hearing from the Lord. If she starts to feel that there's another voice trying to talk to her, she rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Before she publicized that word, it don't matter. It's not about getting anything wrong. I don't want you to think that I think you're supposed to be perfect. I don't think that. I know you ain't God and you ain't Jesus. I know you're not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. Misha ain't. Christina ain't. Uh, nobody is, no matter who's portraying to be perfect, we're not perfect. But we know that we're dealing with souls. God mm-hmm. cut us off because we're trying to elevate. And if you don't get that delivery, you ain't supposed to be getting back on there, coaching nobody, and you need to teach yourself how to uh-huh. I ain't been coaching nobody. I, I haven't been, been doing something to coach you since I got to know. Look, you have over a thousand followers. When you get on that live, you are doing spiritual coaching. Then people look up to you. Period. You are a leader in the army of God. So if you fall short, you are a leader. You, If you're going through deliverance, get your deliverance. Take a month off. God is not going to be mad at you if you go sit at that altar. Go sit down in front of his face. When you do a couple weeks, fine. It's only been two weeks. God wants you to get there. It's not an overnight thing. If you fall short, find out how that will never tempt you again in life. Figure out what happened during that time. Are you operating? Are you hearing from the Lord? Because God gave me that dream the other day. Straight up gave me that dream. And he was telling me that I need to separate myself from you because you were dealing with stuff. And I couldn't yeah. grab my mind. I don't even, I don't even, even with people in the streets, Alyssa, I don't, it's very hard for me to let go without God giving me clarity of why. So in the streets, they make it plain and clear why I need to hang out with them. With you, I couldn't understand. And if you're not willing to take your own correction, that's what they're saying. You don't need to be on live. You don't need to, if you're getting confirmation from other prophets and people and God telling you to clap your hands, keep on going, you keep pushing. You don't have to publicize that stuff. Let him work on you in the dark. In the dark. So you can come. And that's what he's been doing. Yeah, I haven't been on my phone. Have, I ain't got nobody to talk to or nothing. So it just broke you know, okay. Let me ask you this. Did you know about September being a Jewish or you just know that you heard September? So this is what happened with the September is with the Jewish calendar. So yesterday. I know what, you, you heard. No, no, no. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You first heard it. When did you hear it before? About the Jewish calendar? Yeah. When did you hear it before? Or did you just hear it? So I first heard about the Jewish calendar when the Rosh Hashanah was coming about, and then I searched up the Jewish calendar, and I knew that to uh, to Shirashi, I think I pronounced that right. It was basically God's first day. So basically, on the fifteenth, that was the fifteenth of September for us, but that was actually the first uh, day of September on God's calendar, on His calendar. But yeah, I knew about the Jewish calendar since the fifteenth, and I've been looking into it, and I've been actually planning to give you a Jewish calendar. But so far as you to put that word out there, word out for for anything, just yes. because he gives it to you, you uh-huh. have a dream. So you think that God? Well, this is this all I'm gonna ask you, right? Because mm-hmm. God, the only thing that we that should get controversy controversy for is the truth, right? Mm-hmm. So God got a whole bunch of American children here, right? That don't really know about. Yes, we're getting to know the Jewish calendar. We're getting to know, but you're talking to people, right? So if you knew when you put that word out, you should have said that if you wanted to be accurate, because you would have avoided unnecessary spiritual right. weapons. Right, unnecessary spiritual weapons. I'm only talking about Shiva. I know that you don't, I, we know personally that, I mean, you know, you have called me because you got things wrong about certain stuff. You apologize, but you don't yeah. give anybody a word that's not right. You don't. Right. 
And this is where you get a wrong game. That's why I don't I don't put all that out there. I don't need to say you got this and that. I don't do that. Because we're supposed to get it wrong right here. Or with God, right? We, I wouldn't even, if I knew that you wasn't clear on it, I wouldn't even want you prophesying over to you clear. But God did not, I'm a, I'm not a baby in Christ at all. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to it, God knew that in order for me to elevate, there's something hindering my growth as well as you. God doesn't just tell us to stop. We are, we, at the end of the day, we're supposed to be united, one body, right? So the only thing that would get somebody torn out of the body of Christ or have him to look at other believers, what did he do when the open rebuke came in the, in the Acts? I mean, in churches where Paul said, when to do the open rebuke, it was to let the church know what's going on so that that's the warning that you're getting. So God is letting you know he chastised or rebukes the ones that he loved. That's only not even 35 people out of the whole world that may or may not see your life or care about that. We're just trying to get you in alignment. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to separate you, but if you keep on operating with whatever, get your deliverance. Take your time off. I think you're missing the whole point, and I'm not trying to butt in and just cut anybody off. But listen to this. Alyssa, if we're going to have a conversation, we're not going to talk over each other. Everybody going to have the floor. I will hang up. We're not finna talk over each other. Yeah, let, We're let, not finna let, do let, that. Let, like I just, I just yeah. literally open my mouth. Go ahead, Alyssa. Go ahead. Say what you need to say. Okay, this is what I want to say. And you know, it, it, and I'm glad we on the phone. And I just pray in Jesus' name that we will be able to talk to everything. But this, this is what has also been revealed to Jasmine. You know, like I said, that's why I said we all have. Uh, and also call Jasmine on his new show, please. But, um, and also call Terry if you want to. But Jasmine had reached out to me, Isha, and she just said that you had called her. And she's like, that's why she took back on her page. She had told me yes, I did. Home. And the Lord told me to reveal that to her because you was in witchcraft, getting high and giving spiritual coaching. Yes, I did call her. Yeah. I understand. But the Lord specifically said, warn my daughter. He showed me Jasmine's face. You cannot put a word over somebody while you're practicing witchcraft. Yes, I did call Jasmine. I didn't tell Shay I called Jasmine because it's it's not biblical and it's gossip and it's messy. It's a lot of, of planning that needs to be done because I talked to Jasmine. She didn't tell her. She was like, yeah, Lisa, you know that we're friends and that's something I'm supposed to be friends, so I'm not going to hide nothing. And she said she took that up with God, but then, you know, if you want to reach out to that kid, she don't That's not necessary. This call is about you. This call is about you. Let me bring something up, though. That's what I'm trying to say. When Jasmine called, she said she received a dream. It was everybody, basically, that was inside of the women's ministry. And she said you were the teacher. She said it wasn't too much stuff going on in the dream. Of course, you can call Jasmine if you want to check. But she said it wasn't too much stuff going on in the dream, but she said God was telling her to step away from the ministry because it was like chaos or something going on. Not, not chaos, but stuff was starting to like fall apart. And she said in the dream, basically, you resembled the teacher and you had a religious spirit. So that's why I'm like, what is going on? I said, you know, she's getting a dream of Misha. You know what I'm saying? Misha, I love you, so I'm going to defend you. I don't care if we ain't cool or not. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be going on that. I'm like, what? But religious spirit. And she's like, yo, Nisha had a religious spirit and it was her. She said, so far as everything she said, I haven't got confirmation for you. But I said, well, continue to pray on that. And I said, any word that I gave Jasmine, you know, take that up with God. I said, yeah, I felt sure. I told her I was supposed to be, I had sex and everything. And she was like, yeah. She was like, well, so far on my end, you haven't got anything wrong at all. She said, you said I was moving the month of September and now she's in New York. So she was like, everything comes to pass. I'm like, oh, okay. I need... I like, what? And I told her it has been stuff I got wrong. And I said, I love Nisha. You know what I'm saying? Right now, God has separated. And Nisha, you want to take it up with God and with Shay. One thing, what, what was revealed to me was there is a separation, but sometime in the future, we will be brought back together. God right now is working on people's hearts, and there will be a reunited relationship in the future. You know what I'm saying? On God's comment. I don't know when, but basically, he was letting me know stuff he was revealing. You know, that stuff is still, you know, that. And then, and hold on, Christine, let me say this. Christina told me I had pride, haughtiness, whatever it is, right? 
the, mm-hmm. the whole point, the whole conversation, because I don't, I don't want to sit on the phone and talk about all of these things to make it very messy. The right. thing about it is, is that we, the Lord has clearly showed us that whatever you are operating out of is not of him, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he's working on you and he's delivering you, Alyssa, that's mm-hmm. what needs to happen. It's not about... If Misha hasn't delivered a, a, a religious spirit or if I got a prideful spirit or whatever, whatever kind of spirit, it don't even matter. He's trying to work on you to correct you, right? So Misha reached out to Jasmine and no, I did not know that, right? We did know you had spiritual coach and she said that, hey, I don't, you know what I'm saying, know about this. And I'm like, well, that's, I, I get out of all that stuff. They don't have nothing to, it really do have something to do with me, but it's not, may not be my assignment. Maybe Jasmine was Misha's assignment, right? Maybe it was. Uh-huh. So people do have to be warned because I wouldn't necessarily have known about you if the Lord didn't come and knock on my front door and let me know. So at the end of the day, that's all it's about. Is if you getting delivered, this is another call of just love. You know what I'm saying? We ain't. Yeah, I, just wanna, call of love. I don't want to get on. The, I don't even want you. I ain't even want to say nothing because I don't want you to think that I'm trying. I never came at you like that. Never. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never I, I do that. I didn't mind that y'all came on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not this type of person. That's gonna get there. And I love that you and Misha really took me from the bottom of my heart. Y'all was my friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to be switching up old people. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Y'all said it was real. Y'all said it was real. That's that period. But this word, like the Sheba annual confirmation and stuff like that. God be telling me that there's something different. Um, being deceived, hell yeah. You know, excuse my language, hell yeah, I was deceived. The crap, I was sitting here smoking weed thinking I'm about to receive business from God. God led me to scripture, and I'm about to read it for y'all. For y'all okay, people, you know what? Before that. you read anything and say anything, I just want to say this. Please let me speak, and I'm going to say this. Because the energy Go you ahead. got on the phone right now, you didn't have the energy on live. And I'm just, I'm just being honest. I text you September the 19th. I said, hi, Alyssa. I have been in prayer and spending time with the Lord today. I am pulling back from, from, from phone time as the Lord reveals some things to me about certain people. I will be taking a step back from, from this connection and keeping you in prayer. And you said, okay, not sure what was revealed, but time with, uh, but, but time with God is so important. Whatever, the, whatever God is telling you to do, do it. That is what you do. I tried reaching out to Shay, but don't know what's going on. But yeah, love you, Misha, girl. That's all love here. We had a pretty cool friendship. Now, when I came in your 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 live section today, I'm mm-hmm. not following you. I'm not subscribed to you. I was told that you were live. It doesn't matter by who, but I was told that you were live. And after the prayer session that me and Christina had today, the Lord revealed to you and said, you are in witchcraft. He did not send you. Exposure is coming and you are in deception. The Lord said lies. And this is her warning. Now, last week, the Lord revealed to me that there will be an open rebuke, but I did not know when. That's why I came on your live today and said what I said. Now, on the live, you were saying Misha could have reached out to me in private. The people in the uh, comments were saying, yeah, she should have did this in private. Why am I just sitting out seeing her on her live? And a person of integrity, a true man and woman of God, I understand that it sucks and it's embarrassing. But the thing is, you use the lowest form of witchcraft, which is manipulation. Because if you know I rebuke you in private, me and Shay, several times before your foot left the dust of Texas, you should have said that. Because you made it seem like I'm just coming on your live attacking you. I done told you so many words, gave you so many warnings. For you, so for you to sit on live as if I never rebuke you in private, between me and you, not me, you and Shay, but between me and you, was in text message. You lied to the people blatantly because you didn't stand in integrity and say, well, sis did tell me you stood in pride. And I understand because it's embarrassing and you didn't expect no, it. it- you you didn't expect it but the thing is you were saying misha you got my number we could have you could have told me that i do have your number and i had it september the 19th at 2 41 p.m and i text you so you're right so for you to get on on live and say i could have told you that in private not only did i tell you in private one or two times i told you our whole friendship and then we had a whole falling out that i don't believe misha i think misha questioned everything i say you know this, but today on live, you act as if you had no clue. Yeah, and then I think the test that you were experiencing was, were you going to, whatever it is, the test wasn't how you want to handle somebody coming at you, right? That's not the test. The test was, were you going to humble yourself? Because Jan Sue's 
I know she get on your live and you tell people to take it up with God. Sometimes at that point in their life, you are the God. You are Jesus. You are his ambassador. Because they look up to you. Why do you think that you... They do. They look up to you. You are. When you tell people to go back to God and get your plans with God, yes, they're going to have to take it up with God. But guess what? It's very, it is very, um, it's precise. You have to be in perfection when you're leading God's people so nobody's blood is on your hands. So right. either, never mind Christina, never mind Misha, Jan Sue's has been following you. And she notices that things that you're saying is not lining up. So there is no there is that with God, that's not happening. That's biblical. It's not happening. You're not putting out words and getting them in, inaccurate because God don't do that. The prophets in the Bible don't do it. And the ones he's raising up now, that's why he's raising up new prophets because they perverted his gospel. Yeah. It don't matter why you're doing it. That's why they, that's why he's doing it. So you were supposed to, and you, I mean, at the end of the day, you have time to do it. This is still out of love. It's for correction, right? No, you can't say that because today you no, did it. You, you stood in pride and you didn't you didn't you didn't take no correction because you wouldn't have made the statement. Well, Misha got my number. She would have hit me up. Alyssa, you and I both know that me and Shay hit you up on several occasions, several different times trying to trying to be on the phone and I pray. You, you was I getting high you. when we were supposed to fellowship. I called you separately. I called you separately. I'm so stupid. Sorry, God, for laughing. But I called you separately without me being on the phone telling you this, that, and that, right? Now, that was nothing but love. Like, I'm telling you, when God told me I got to take a step back because he's revealing stuff to me. And you knew that. You was like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You like, I did apologize for this and that. But in the Bible, the prophet didn't have to apologize. I'm going to receive it because I'm going to give you the same grace and mercy that I want somebody to give me in case I get something wrong. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you out here doing that. But we have to lead people. When the harvest is coming, either you're going to be a part of the ministry, get delivered, or you're going to be delivering the people. You have to pick what side you want to be on, the wheat or the tear. You got right, to pick that right, side. Right. And this is, this is the love right now. You only got a couple of followers. And I'm saying a couple amongst the many that you can have and probably will have in, in time. You're going to have all that stuff, but God's trying to get you in alignment so you're not the 35 or the 20 people that you could have led astray. Then you're not leaving, leading 2 million to a straight like Prophet Logan. He's trying mm. to get you before you get to the Sean and Camille level. He don't want you doing that. He didn't gave you dreams himself. Uh, you've been in a car with two prophets that are not operating out of his spirit. He gave you that dream and you couldn't discern it. You should have known right there and there. You don't know why you was in the car. I knew why you was in the car. I knew why you was in that car. You couldn't even see it. So we tell you this out of love. I'm not going to get on no live. I don't do that. Just like Jasmine, I'm not going to deal with no drama because we're not in the world no more. But when yeah. it comes to people's souls, these are people's lives. So we operate in this not the man that can just kill the person. It's the man that can kill the spirit and the soul. So you are responsible for all your sheep. You are prophetess, you're responsible for them. You can't be just out here getting things wrong and then getting the thing saying, oh, they're judging me. No, take responsibility. I did. I need to go back to God. I, might what, be I, I did say that. I said I had done things wrong in the past. I had made mistakes, you know, I was doing stuff, you know, I didn't have to get in detail in my life, but I said I was doing stuff, and I was right, and I told them, I said, oh, go ahead, go ahead, I, go I'm ahead. not talking about the fornication or the weed, baby, I'm not. I know that people fall short, I'm not talking about you having sex with your fiance, or you smoking weed, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you operating in a spirit that's not of God. You're operating, like not repenting, but at some point in your time, whether you were smoking weed or having sex, something entered you. And now you're operating in that spirit. You're operating in it. So and this, and this is what, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I gotta stop talking it, yeah, It's all right, but any time that, any time that God is telling you is operating, deception means that you could be in deception too. So when you take it back up to the Lord and you really hear from the Lord, like back when you first got saved and you was prophesying, go back to those days. Go back to them days. Because there's been a lot of stuff that we overlooked that we didn't even see was kind of rare warnings, like mm -hmm. red, like warnings. Right. But we didn't see it. We didn't even know because of our spiritual immaturity. Right. But God right. had to come in and show us. He loved you and he loved us. He wants us to grow, but we can't grow if we pacify our 
Man, mm-hmm. that's a fact. And I just want to say, you know, when I called you and Shay, I was like, dang, I slipped up and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fornicate it again. The thing is, I came and I repented my sins and I was so grieved with it that I literally had to cut him off and turn away. And the thing is, you have to understand, we all, like Shay said, we all fall short because even after my slip up, AP was still coming over here. We was cuddling and kissing. We may not have had sex, but it still was the perverted was version. Was we was dead wrong. wrong. And the Lord was like, look. You need to just stop. Don't don't even put yourself. Yeah, I see you got your big girl panties on. You you didn't have sex this time. Well, next time his demon may be stronger than your your no because you're putting yourself in a position to be enticed into sin. So don't think that I'm attacking you because you did things behind clo- person behind closed doors like what you told me and Shay when I said I could air you out. It would not be right. The Lord would have dealt with me on that because at that moment, if I would have started saying, Alyssa, you're smoking weed and having sex. If I would have put that on the Lord, on the live, the Lord would have dealt with me heavy because that would have been gossiping, messy, discord, and defamation. So I did not do that. But and the thing also, is, you was, was doing that around the same time too, so. no, we, no, we was not. That was that one time you was in uh, yeah. Texas. You was in Texas okay. at the time. And it's not about point fingers. You know, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. Well, my bad. Did you, I'm sorry. Did you get married? <laughs> did you get married? Oh, no. I haven't got married. God has. Why not? Why not? Because well, I haven't said that God said. Because I haven't made it to the. Basically, I haven't put the works in. So God can give me that message. But if you're not trying to take the money, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When God reveals something to you and it's from God, you're, it's going to happen. You don't have to have no money. You don't have uh-uh. to go do it. No, because you got to go to the courthouse. No, that's, the the that, that is true. But the thing is, he'll make no, a way. No, no, no. You went from $17 yes, to $5,000. I'm not just, I'm, I'm just saying. It I doesn't matter how much it costs. Money. No, no, it's it's not a money thing. It's a God to make it happen. Even if you have zero dollars, the Lord will have a stranger here. The Lord told me to give you this hundred dollars today. Go do the Lord's work. It's not about you having money. The thing is... The enemy deceived you into making you think yeah. that it was time. He put an urgency on you, and the Lord don't rush you, Alyssa. Well, that's crazy because Rosie, um, it, she I, don't, I don't care what no, Rosie no, said. No, 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 hold on. What I'm trying to say with Jay is Rosie reached out with the prophecy, was, which was the word of confirmation. She said, Alyssa. It's time for you to get married. The Lord said, please let go. I, I got a bitch in this. I'm like, what? And mind you, a uh, video popped up on my notification of Christy Jesse said, green like go, meaning to get married. I watched that video the same day Rosie gave me that prophecy. And she said, green like go. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Not to cut you off. No, yes, that is true. Because I'm going to ask you. I got to do the same thing for me. But you, you, your word was the one that she had to get broken off of her. And the thing, what I'm trying to say is. If a prophet come and tell you God says something. It's supposed to be your, your part too. Your part one, yeah. and they supposed to have like it's supposed to already align. But if I just walk up to, if I just call you, hey, Larry, gonna propose to you tomorrow, and the Lord ain't tell you nothing about that girl, you better rebuke me so quick, so fast, in a hurry. Because when you get a yeah. word from somebody, it's supposed to already be a part two or three to what the Lord has already revealed to you. My thing Especially is, now, I don't, like yo, you yes, I don't care about yeah. me, Kayla, Christina, Lachey, anybody. I don't. I could be a mouthpiece for the Lord, but at the same time. The Lord may not be be telling me to come tell you that. Just like every dream, it's not meant for you too. You have to think to yourself, Lord, am I posting this to get likes and subscribers? Or am I posting this because you told me, look, go put that word out to warn my people. You need to discern, should I share this dream? Should I say something? Just because the Lord reveals something to you don't mean you go run to freaking YouTube and upload it. Do you not know I sat on my word for a week, most of my dreams and stuff? Like, if I'm having my prayer sessions, I will wait and the Lord will tell me, tell my people this. But if I don't have confirmation, I don't care how old it is. The Lord can tell me something from a month ago. If you, if I don't get confirmation, it's not coming on YouTube. It's not. Yeah, that's all. That's all I'm saying. And Rosie, I watched Rosie tell you a number one day. And that number that she gave you, that was the number that she gave you or whatever it is, it, said you, it meant nothing, nothing. It actually kind of... Yeah, she said, she said I was supposed to get my wealth transfer. Uh, she prophesied. So you, yeah, so there was she no said, Rosie. She said there the Lord Rosie. said, she said September 26th. There was she no said. Rosie then. There's no Rosie yeah. then. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Not that she's not a woman of God or she don't hear from God. 
But for you and your order, your thing, there is no Rosie. There is no Rosie. Right. Yeah. That's how it is. Well, can, I share, can I share something real yes. quick, y'all? Okay, so I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try to start crying. And sorry for anything I said, Misha, but say because I feel that conviction. Like some of this stuff that I, yeah, I'm sorry for whatever I said on here. Don't be sorry. Her. Just come out of agreement with it. Yeah. It's, it's you legit was my homie, like my best friend, my little sister. So don't think that we are attacking you. But I have been through. I have been a victim of witchcraft, and I want yeah. to grow. And I, I don't want to be yeah. in. So the thing is, Alyssa, we have to. We had to cut ourselves off and break that off because we was dealing with your demons. Yeah. So one thing I just want to say, and y'all can always say this over God. I know y'all will. But when these these last couple of weeks of me um uh, not talking to y'all, I ain't got nobody to talk to on the phone. So now that's kind of forced me to see God more. You know what I'm saying? I was spending a lot of time on my phone for hours talking to y'all, missing reading my word at nighttime because my own ex. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I don't got no friends. You know what I mean? I don't talk to nobody. I talk to Jasmine here and there probably like once a week or so, but I don't talk to nobody. So now. My son don't barely don't be here. And so now I'm seeking the Lord. Now I'm praying. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm reading scriptures and, you know, different stuff like that. And God did give me the scripture Lache is talking about. And that's the scripture I want to read to y'all real quick. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Hold on. Yes, every, no, not just do the wrong. Everything y'all said. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I know now. He literally he opened my eyes about this. I literally felt conviction. He was letting me know about the prophetic words. He was letting me know about the uh, the 144,000. He let me know all this different stuff. And he's like, yes, I showed you the 144,000, but all of this extra stuff, you you went, you went, took that on a whole different thing. And I had to renounce the amount of money. I had to break witchcraft. He had me do a self deliverance for three days, y'all. And every three days, or every day that I was doing the deliverance on me, I felt things dispatching itself off of me. So yeah, that's why I told Larry, I felt things come out of me. There was a Python spirit, and I, you don't use it. Like I said, I said on what I went through because it's a testimony to help other people. There was a Python spirit, there was a divination spirit, there was a witchcraft spirit from the science from prophesying in the flesh or whatever that allows this spirit of fraud to come in and so it's not when the did that not, happen? Did when did it that happen? Happen? not even a week ago bro we don't so know Alyssa, that's what that's that uh, hold on let me finish let me that's finish it. that's hold it on, hold on listen 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 to this part that's what i'm trying to tell y'all he has opened my eyes about this and then misha misha she's saying oh false prophet false prophet you know what I'm saying? I'm not a false prophet, but what God is seeing through that message with uh with Misha is if a person is a, a true prophet and you're falsely prophesying and things are not coming to pass or you misconceive uh you you get something wrong, you're supposed to repent on that. It allows what it says in the book of Revelation, that fraud spirit to get up on you, which is a false prophet. You know what I'm saying? And so when I went through my deliverance with Leah, of course, what did God do? He brought it back to my mind. He said, You remember how you got delivered from this? Leah was casting out the spirit of frogs. So she was casting this spirit out. And I was like, what? I was like, what's going on here? It's because speaking out of the flesh, it's because of getting anything wrong or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, he opened my eyes about that. And let me leave this to y'all. Hold on, hold on. So when Misha's, when Misha's seeing that, yeah, if a person is seeing against the wrong, God is going to be like, you know, he's going to say that. And so, oh, listen, I can I just say this? If you knew that, what Misha is saying is that at that moment, you could have been like, you know what? I've been dealing. You don't have to tell me and Misha this because she, she didn't call you that because she's guessing. She knew. And now you know. But you didn't say that on the live. It's not up for us, right? There's probably some people that listen to you and they're like, she's a true prophet of God, but they might have to break some stuff off of them like I had to break some stuff off of me. It's for those souls. You could be doing all the deliverance you want, but there's some still some unanswered. There's still some stuff. She was, it was God. She wasn't expecting anything. She was being a servant. But God was expecting you that test that you kept on saying, I want to fix a test to, hey, it's my time. This is what I've been doing in my free time. You think that we, nobody's thinking about you getting high, smoking weed and having sex every day. We know that people fall short of the glory of God. But it's the other things that happen during those times. 
it's not about. I'm so glad you got delivered. I've been, we've been praying hard. Well, hold on, I'm, and I, I'm still receiving my deliverance. You know what I'm we saying? We know that. Me, that's why it, you shouldn't be yeah, on that. And thing. that's well, hold on, hold on. The reason why I got on today, and I feel led to, because I want to take it up with God, so I can ask him. I feel I led to. I'm taking it up with the Lord. Like, okay. okay. Yeah, I feel led to get on there. No, I'm not ministering on there. No, I'm not prophesying. I ain't been on there for that. But the month of September passed. And so I can't just let these people not know what God has showed me. You know, since I had to let them know. And one thing I do want to say to you real quick, like I said, since I have came out of the God and stuff, I am doing a change. Nobody's perfect. I was in this stuff. Y'all was warning me for, uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks and stuff like that. So it was a rebuke in the perfect, but I am coming out of even with that, I'm very careful. If y'all have not noticed on my page, I haven't even posted a video in dang near two weeks. That's how serious I am about this stuff because I'm not trying to post nothing. And I told me to this when I talked the last time, God was leading me to delete videos on things that were like wrong. Even if it was a little something in there that was wrong, I got to delete the whole video. Mm-hmm. And so he led me to do that. So if you see videos gone, it's because God is saying, this is not it. So I had to cleanse my, uh, my YouTube. I said, well, which one? He had me rewatch some stuff. He said, delete that, delete that. So this was what I've been going through these last couple of weeks. I have been worked on. And God that's good. That heart. lets us know the, the prayer's been working. The spirit of Leviathan? Yes, I've seen that in my dream. I had a dream and I've seen Leviathan. i just seen the words. I didn't see him or that like that. i just seen the words. So I've seen Leviathan spelled out. And then I woke up and God was like, Leviathan. And what does Leviathan do? He put chains on your mind. He gives you false visions. He makes you false prophesy. And then, oh, if you're born to take it and you have a sex, okay, now we got the spirit of Baal, which it says that Baal is the false prophet. They call herself a prophetess, and she's in the spirit of witchcraft and divination, and she twists stuff up. So if you're dealing with both of those spirits, it's really hard to hear from God. That and that's what true. God reveals to me. So I had to continue to renounce it, renounce the spirit of Baal. I had to continue to renounce it, renounce the spirit of Leviathan, because Leviathan truly is hard to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all seen this stuff out of love, and you know, I'm on YouTube, but this is something I have been coming out of. It, it is hey, that's, 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 that is that's what we yo, for. That is we, so we, good to hear. Yeah, that's, oh, what my goodness. Tell you. that's why I start crying because I'm like, God, I repeated from this stuff. I've been denouncing demonic covenant. I feel something come out of my chest, I feel something leave out of my back, I feel stuff coming I'm out of my I'm telling you, that's. I'm going to tell you something. I was just thinking, I'm walking up the street, and God, Misha, correct me if I'm wrong, God is the operator, right? He mm-hmm. do stuff, and he do it for love. But this morning, I randomly looked at your page. I ain't going to lie, I randomly looked at your page. I don't know what led me to it, but I did. Because I'm like, dang, it's October 1st, and nothing happened. So I'm looking at these other people say stuff to you. I'm like, dang, Misha. Oh, uh, hold on, let me. Hold let on. No, let, let, let her listen. Mm-hmm. Misha, she said the same thing, but now I know why the Lord brought us there for right now. For right now. Wow. Because I can almost guarantee yeah, you, I would not have, we would not have got on no live or nothing. We would not have even noticed. Thanks. Know, it wouldn't yeah. Have, it wouldn't have yeah. happened. And if you've been doing it, that was a open, that was a rebuke for you to know. And whatever, whenever God leads you to do it, this is for you to let them people like that, that's why they just saying humble yourself. They don't know us. I can take somebody saying that I'm this and that. They don't even know me. I don't care. They don't know me from a cake. They can right. say whatever they want about me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we coming out to your soul and theirs because they don't even know. Right. And one thing I do want to share real quick. So yesterday I was crying. I was going through spiritual welfare. I was going through attacks. I said, God, did I get something wrong? I said, God, please reveal to me. And I was just seeking God and I kept praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And I reached out to my brother in Christ, Sammy, or whatever. And um, I said, uh, I said, please pray for me, Sammy. The month of September, nothing happened for Sheba. I said, I'm lost for words on what to tell the YouTube family. I truly love everyone. This is so much. That's why I called you earlier. I said, I was crying and everything. I love God so much. I've been seeking him to prayer. Haven't got a response yet. And basically, I had a dream last night. And when I woke up out of the dream, I get a message from Sammy, which was a word of confirmation. And Sammy says, Elisa, I got a word from you for the, from the Lord. He said, I got a word from you for the Lord. And the Lord says, you need not to worry, Elisa. I see everything. You know what I have shown you. 
you have warned many as I have instructed you. Your time is not my time. Understand that many will not understand. It is dangerous to treat my messengers with disrespect. So he was meaning the messenger, uh, with people disrespecting the messengers. That, those were God's words, and I did test the spirit. And it was like I said, it was a word of confirmation. And so God was saying, I have shown you these things. And then he said, the month of September in October. Like I said, I thought of this yesterday, and this was talking April. He said, the month of September in October is to Shirai. That ends October 15th. He said, people got the Jewish New Year, but forgot the Jewish months to go with the year. And the Lord said, the first month is not over with yet. And then he said, God is, resp- uh, he said, God is responsible for what happens to you. It does not matter what they say. And though, that's what Sammy sent me this morning. You know, I'm well, like, oh, listen, you did not even need that because if you knew about going to be a month, you wouldn't even have to get on that thing today and let people know. You would have known that it still was going to be coming to pass. You have to correct your people. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's very, that's very the alignment. You know that, right? That's not the same. If he had to call, you didn't have to pray to God like nothing didn't happen if you knew that September was still going according to the Jewish. That's what Shay is talking about. I listen to everything that you say. I listen to everything everybody say. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was a lie just now. I'm not, I know you probably talked to Sammy, but you just said that you knew about the Jewish thing. You didn't know about it. You didn't just know about it. No, I've been knowing about the Jewish calendar since Rosh Hashanah. So I've been knowing about the Jewish calendar. But so far, as the Jewish calendar with the Welchers first, no, oh, I did not know that part. And if you misunderstand the that, Jewish I apologize. Calendar is a, no, I didn't misunderstand it. I know God will move. I ain't pay attention to what none of the prophets saying. I know yeah. what I do, but not in when it comes to dates and times. I know what right, just got away right. I listen, but not when it's like, oh, it's going to happen then. Because I already told me, I'm like, if we listen to the times, we're going to be waiting up because our flesh is going to be like it's going to happen tonight. We're going to be up until 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But, well, like I said, you know, I know Sammy here from the Lord, and, you know, he just responded out of nowhere. Like I said, it was a time that I needed, like, you know, I was trying to hear from God, and I received a message, and I'm going to share that message with y'all real quick, too. But when you know, said, down. You said oh, what? Did. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. And I've been having dreams of Misha, too. She's been appearing in my dream. But that's why when I was on there, I was like, God has already spoke to me. You know what I mean? Hey. Confirmation. What like, would be going on when I'm in your dreams? So this is with the wealth transfer. I don't know why. I am having dreams every single day of the wealth transfer and his messages and his attacks and it's a whole bunch of stuff like God is trying to tell me, like, this is what the enemy is up to. I don't know why, and I'm going to share it, and, you know, we should, you have to get book interpolation, and you know how to test the spirit to know if something's from God or not. You have that big gift, and I've been doing that since I knew you, so. In the dream, we were at church. <laughs> we were at church, and it was the body of Christ. Somebody was on the stage, and Sammy was the instructor. And Misha, she was on the side of the church, or, like, not on the side of the church, she was on the side where people see that, but on the end. And basically, Sammy was giving instructions to the body of Christ, but I was to do with the church, and I was on the side, so I didn't have a seat, a, uh, a seat, a seat to sit at. And I thought that I was going to miss the well transfer in the drink. Sammy then walked up to me and said, "Alisa, the Lord is He just stopped talking about. He said, Alisa, the Lord is saying that you're not going to miss the first wave of the well transfer. The Lord is saying that you will receive your portion. And you know, it was different stuff that He was saying. And in the dream, y'all." He put his hands on me, right? And there was deliverance being done. And y'all want to know one of the demons that were coming out? What? It was the spirit of bitterness and pride. And I don't know all the other ones, but it was the deliverance being done. And basically in the dream, Sammy was doing deliverance on me. He also gave a message to as well, you know, telling me about the blood transfer, but it was also deliverance being done. And so that was letting me know in the dream, I'm um, not going to miss the first wave. And then the second message is, Basically, I still need deliverance. So no matter how many times I've been renouncing and denouncing, it needs to be even more deliverances. And so I have not been doing spiritual coaching for weeks. I have not posted on YouTube as they make the videos for the last couple of weeks. But like I said, you know, don't even go live. And so, but today I did feel less to go live to tell the people about the Jewish calendar. Um, but yeah. 
I'm going to ask you to get through this full, full division. It's going to be clear, pure clinic for you to get the owner because things can jump on people. You know what I'm saying? So, this don't was, think that you have to. A days ago. Yeah, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. don't don't think that you have to be perfect because at the end of the Would day, we all like we all fall short each and every day. But my thing is, I'm gonna ask you these two questions. One. Wait, hold on. Before you ask the question, can I share one more thing? I'm sorry. One more thing is last night. Like I said, it was words of confirmation when Sammy gave me that message at four in the morning. Last night, I had a dream at the crown to the Lord. Christina, she popped up in my dream. She went live in my dream. And it was my name on there, and it was two other people's name on there. And it's this September prophecy. And in the dream, she was speaking, and she was giving people under about her and how it was going to come on God's timing. In the dream, y'all. So like I said, when Stevie said that, that was on God's through his time. with only words of confirmation. But in the dream, she was giving people on live, and she was telling people how it was going to happen with God's comment, and she was giving it about this calendar. And in the dream, she said, Alisa, you were permitted to talk about her. She said, Alisa, you are here from God. And then she said, well done. And then that was the end of the dream. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to be honest with you. And this is why I'm going to ask you these questions. When you have those dreams, you need to ask the Lord, did they come from him? And you need to ask him to confirm your to confirm what he what what he's showing you. Because your name came up in prayer today and the Lord said everything opposite of what you're saying right now. And I and I'm simply saying this right now, Alyssa. When you have those dreams, you need to make sure, Lord, was that from you or did the devil come in and twist my dream? Because we can look at people's videos so much and we can want something so much that was buried in our subconscious, we will constantly have a dream about it. So yeah, please, please, it. please, really yes, please understand. I'm not saying that you are wrong, but what the Lord said today when we was in prayer, what he revealed, what he revealed. It's completely opposite of what you're saying in your dreams. And and I'm simply saying that because if you watch Sammy videos a lot, if you miss having conversations with me and Shay, if you think about us a lot, the enemy, the enemy will use what you miss and use your memories and make you think that you're hearing from the Lord and give you a perverted version of something that you truly crave when it's not from God. So be very careful when you're having a dream. Yes, the Lord is the Lord of dreams and he gives visions of the day and night, but you have to understand which is what Astral Project and come in and twist your dreams and make you think that you're hearing from the Lord because it's something that you really want in real life. Just like I'm sitting here thinking that we're going to get the wealth transfer Saturday on Rosh Hashanah. But at the end of the day, I wanted so bad that I had a dream that it was going to come to pass. Be careful with your dreams and thinking just because you had a dream. Oh, that was from God. No, that's not true. Because my baby father didn't have dreams that we was going to get back together and get married. Was he deceived? Absolutely was. Just because you dream something don't mean that that's, Lord's, that's the Lord's will from you. So when you have these dreams, you need to ask the Lord. Meditate before you even tell anybody, Lord, give me confirmation. Show me confirmation throughout the day that that's the dream that you gave me. Lord, I'm going to sit in a quiet place. I'm going to sit and I'm going to soak in quiet instrumental music. Or I'm just going to sit and I want you to reveal, was that a dream you gave me? Or did the enemy come and rob me of, of, of truth? Don't think just because you have a dream about something that the Lord is sending you. No, that's not true all the time because I didn't got God like that. I didn't got God. I really didn't thought she was finna, we was finna, I was finna wake up and I was going to see money. No, that's because I wanted it so bad that now I'm dreaming about this very thing that I want so bad. And now I'm having constant dreams about it because I want it. It's buried in my subconscious. So before you put anything, a word, a dream before you put anything on YouTube or share anything, you need to have per permission from the Lord and confirmation from the Lord. Yeah. Well, with that dream last night, just with the Christina thing, she was giving people understanding about the month of September. And then, like I said, I woke up and then Sandy sent that message from the Lord. So it was worth of confirmation because the Lord said in the message that Sandy sent, she said on my calendar and not ours. So the month of September was still accurate. And that's what Sammy said, though. So.
And and no, I understand <sighs> because the Lord spoke to Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar did not believe in God. He still can talk to you. Everything ain't just coming from the enemy, but you have to yeah. be careful. You have man, Leviathan ain't gonna let loose like that. Like you have to come out of agreement. You literally have to come out of it agreement, is, it man. Is, it's, it's you keep getting deliverance, right? We go you keep getting deliverance, you keep doing this was just I was I wanted you to hear it because I do talk to you enough. I talk to you way too much to just sit on live and then that's it. So I'm gonna call you and talk to right, you about it. Right, yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I think that we do owe you that. And I think the Lord will the respects that he respects us doing as well. He wants us to do that. Like it's not no thing, it's just out of love, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, we, we, people, they get missing. They fall away from the faith, and it's because they're, they're operating in these gifts, and then the Lord tell them at the end of the day that they get, go away, I never knew you, you work of iniquity. Like, we, yeah. they have to go, they get casted out after they've been saying this stuff is for the Lord, so we don't want to ever be operated out of something that's not the Lord. And if you've been working on your yeah. deliverance, then amen. I'm not no hater for that, and I'm not, I'm not saying that and not really wanting you to get delivered. That's kind of weird. So I want you to get delivered. I want you to get that, get those things. And I was not judging you, right? I was just telling you that when God gives a word, even if his prophet is acting out of the flesh, when you really see any of the prophets that got a word from the Lord, if none of, we don't know what they were doing. We know what was printed in the Bible. And that was accuracy. That was it. That's all I was saying. Yeah. So, Misha, one question, um, because I'm glad we talked about this. So, are you saying for the wealth transfer that I didn't hear from God at all about September, October? He said, I'm not saying, I can't confirm or deny. I'm not going to tell you that the Lord didn't tell you this. He'll only say, that didn't come from me. You have his spirit inside of you simply because you breathe it. If you didn't have the Holy Spirit, you would have no life. The Lord gives life. So I'm not going to sit here and say that he does not speak to you. I mean, you still got a spirit in you because you alive. Even even though Beyonce, he, she's still breathing. Like in hell, they, they suffocate. They grasp for air. So with that being said, I'm not going to sit here and say just because you're going through these things that the Lord does not speak to you. I'm not going to say, no, who am I? Do you not know I'm still getting work, de- help? I'm still getting delivered on myself? Shay, me? Pride, haughtiness, all that stuff must leave me. Lust of the mind, impatience, all of that. We are constantly she's getting. She's still feeling the lust of the mind. I thought we delivered you last week. So like, no, I'm just okay. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves, bro. <laughs> now, I just said it because I did see a guy yesterday. I was like, God dang, he fine. I was just being human. But, you know, that's still lust of the eyes. But the thing, Shay, get on my nerves. The thing is, don't think that. Just because you're going through certain things that you don't hear from the Lord. Like, Nebuchadnezzar didn't hear from the Lord. I mean, Nebuchadnezzar heard from the Lord and he didn't even believe in him. But the Lord made an example out of him. So don't think that the Lord is not speaking to you. And I'm not going to say, well, I don't believe that you're not hearing from the Lord. But the Lord did reveal that he have not been telling you some things. He revealed it through Christina and he revealed it to me because your name came up in prayer. And there was a lot said about you that wasn't pleasing. That's why I came on your lie. Because he was like, yeah. you, you, you told her and put, hey, you told her when she left Texas, do not neglect the secret place. Sin is crouching at your door. Then you got more words in your hometown from me and Shay. You kept getting words and kept getting words. Do you not understand that us deciding to let you go as a friend, that was part of your chastisement. What happened to you today, that was part of, okay, she's not listening. Don't think that we yes. came you to attack Lord, you. The, the Lord knows us. He knows that we're close. So the same way you couldn't talk, you didn't talk to us, we couldn't talk to you. Yep. We, we yep. talk to you every day. That's not, we had to freaking suck it up. Because I did want to call and talk. Like, I did, I yeah, really like, did miss we that. We do that all the time. Why would not want to talk to you? But I didn't like the fact that I was dealing with something that, I, how was I going to, like, I can't, I'm on the phone, we're supposed to be softening each other up. And you're nice. You working with a butter knife, Melissa. That's all I'm like. I'm just joking. I'm joking. 
Ain't no but in my heart, though. Wait, so Misha, so you say you don't know. So can you tell me what was revealed in the prayer so I can be corrected with that? Because I do want y'all to know I am set for correction. Everything uh, that was said say, oh, on one, the one, live. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. When y'all had y'all on there, and y'all had my understanding on this when I say it, when y'all had y'all on there, I was confused because I'm like, God, I didn't think about a degree. You know, I've been doing my deliverance the past couple of days. You know, I've been praying. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know that I've been teaching you. You know, I've been making the videos on YouTube. And I, when I do go live, I'm sharing my dreams. I'm not on there prophesying over nobody or nothing. So I've just been sharing my dreams and stuff like that. But... Um, I was like, y'all, what's going on? Because I ain't been doing spiritual coaching. You know what I mean? I say, I already went to my correction. You have been convicting me. I have repented from that. I have been going with somebody to do this. Literally, just that's the week since I talked to y'all. So I'm like, what is going on now? Okay, so let me ask you. to nobody. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what is going on now? And I thought that y'all was thinking of something, trying to hold the past against me and just keep breaking the stuff all all the repentance came out of her. No, it ain't the past. The Lord. No, the Lord. The Lord has been constantly revealing things without us even thinking about you. He he, he has been revealing. So it makes me think, and I'm going to just ask you this because I'm like, Lord, we haven't spoke to this girl almost, what, three weeks a month now? And you're still constantly revealing after the separation. What is she still doing that you're still revealing? Have you been, I'm going to ask you, have you been smoking weed and doing the wrong things? Because obviously you're in some type of rebellion for him to say, and she's still going through this. So you better not, basically, she's still doing this. So it's not safe, the close, it's not clear to reconnect. What are you doing behind closed doors that he's constantly revealing you? And I'm just asking I'm, you honestly. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I've literally been in this hotel to focus on God. I had like literally told my grandma to take my stuff for a couple of the days so I could focus on God and not be distracted because I'm trying, to, you know, to speak him more, be in my word more. That's what. That's what my plan is. That's what the days. I'm not doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? There, he be mostly gone and stuff like that, and then he'll come back or something like that. So I've been alone, and I, I don't, I don't go nowhere. I don't do nothing. So what y'all saying? I've been coming out of the dream, like I said, I've been receiving my deliverance. That's why I'm like, what is going on? I was like, there's something else. I, I, I don't do spiritual coaching. I ain't prophesied over nobody since the last time I talked to y'all. I promise y'all, y'all stay good over God. I ain't prophesied over nobody since the last time I talked to y'all. Now, I have shared my dreams and stuff like that, but what has been shown to me is that with the sheep of England, that God is saying that I have been correct on that, and I made sure I fasted and made sure I speak to him in prayer, making sure. I'm like, forget the flesh, forget what I want, forget all of it. I told God, I said, I don't care about this one thing no more. Because he was revealing to me, he said I was idolizing it. He said, you talk about it every single day. Uh, uh, you're planning excessively. You are making this an idol. And so I came out of the agreement with that. I, I, I don't even care about this stuff. You know what I mean? So I, that's what I'm saying. I can't. He sounds like an idol every single day. What, what would I do when I called you and me every day? But I, I, t- I told you that. I, I told you that. I told you. That's what I'm saying. After the separation, he exposed these things to me and he let me know these things. When I called y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, I just got a dream of the wealth transfer. Oh, God told me this about the wealth transfer. I'm just making everything about the freaking wealth transfer. That's exactly what I was doing. It's a good so thing I you're not in denial. It. I mean, j- just we do remain. That too. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. definitely do that too, right? Mm-hmm. We excited too, but I think that in your role, when you compare, when I, I compare you to other prophets, right? That I think that God wants you to, you know, I think he wanted prophets to operate in more than just giving prophetic words about the wealth transfer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that he has to give you, but that's what I believe a prophet, they bring, they could bring repentance, bring warning, bring all of these things. But I definitely had a dream of you like about a it might have been a week ago. It might have been. That's why you had that dream a week ago because after that week, I've been going through my deliverance, like I said, the past couple of days. I'm just now receiving that. But guess what? It's not over yet. I still keep telling me that. That's why you gave me the dream. Well, that's Sammy. That. Well, that's Sammy was the that. with bitterness. He was the uh, uh, pride. And I'm like, dang, I still need deliverance? And so that dream was of God. The enemy going to make me think, oh, you delivered. You cool. But no, God going to expose it in your dream. And that's exactly what he did. So that dream of me should have been appearing that was God. But yeah, it was bitterness, pride, organ, boastfulness. Um, it's just a whole bunch of other stuff that I was dealing with. You know, what Maybe, I mean? so he's like, Yo deliverance ain't over, yo deliverance ain't over. Uh uh-uh, uh, you still need deliverance. Maybe and, so, and I gotta God complete the seven day fast now. It, it went from three days to seven days now. 
Alyssa, I'm 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 gonna ask you something. I'm gonna say something, and and this is how you know. You, the Lord really, the Lord. I'm 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 gonna see how true you is. You don't have to prove nothing to me, but safely speaking, Shay, Alyssa, both of y'all cut me off if I'm wrong. You have a platform. It has been abused because of the, the spirits that was operating inside of you. And mm -hmm. just as public as the deception was, use your platform to go and repent publicly and prove to the Lord that you're, you're really serious about your repentance. Use your platform to spread the truth in the gospel and let that be your testimony. So what you're saying in private, just like you deceive people publicly, go repent publicly. Expose bail, and I'm not just I'm not just telling you to like do this because it's my discretion. But your followers are gonna learn from you because those people ride or die. I see you got some ride or die people who's literally team Alyssa all day, every day. And the thing is, come out and say you all, even me, need to test the spirits. Right. Expose Leviathan. Were, they even were saying like I just had to call you because. The people, it was deception going on on the thing. I just want you to know that there was deception happening because they're thinking that these three angry black women are mad at you for some yep. crazy reason. Mm -hmm. Well, we know the truth. And we mm -hmm. just like, like, come on. Like, yeah, people was starting to not like Christina now. They was like, oh, nah, no. No, so, so make that like, part of you know your Christina life. You know a woman from the Lord, mm -hmm. and you know that. You know that you knew all of these things, but when no, hold on. I said, what did I say? I said I thought y'all was attacking me from something in my past. Cause I'm like, oh, this is the enemy. I was like, I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, can you reveal to them that I have came out of agreement with this stuff and I'm changing from this stuff? Cause I'm like, uh, uh. I was like, yes, I made mistakes and stuff like that, and I, you know, I did my wrong and you know, everything like that. But I was like, what I'm speaking about now, this is of God. You know what I mean? And um, I just felt that I was like, uh, uh. I was like, God, I've been going through my deliverance. Like I've been telling y'all, I'm sharing everything. That's why I thought that that was the enemy using y'all to attack me. But now I understand this Alicia said she went in prayer or whatever. So that just opened up my eyes. And like I said, when a prophet prophesies or whatever, it should be a word of confirmation. So whatever Alicia was being revealed to Christina, obviously there's still some deliverance that needs to be done. Like I said, confirmation because I have had drinks of more deliverance that needs to be done. But go ahead, Lashe. Go ahead and say what you're saying. No, I'm just saying that, that that they were that that was deception because people thought that that you were getting attacked for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. were being attacked, and it wasn't that you was being attacked. It wasn't. I was trying to. It's better for me to talk to you rather than type because you can hear how I sound when I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make. I don't. I can. I'm, I care about the souls, but I don't know the individuals. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a lot of souls that we have to care for, but we may not know those individuals but i don't want them looking as if that christine and misha is not they don't know me i don't even have no platform but they know them you know what i'm saying they could be getting words of encouragement and they may not because of them thinking that this these angry black prophets because like, they show enough was saying it yeah like they looking at them and they like hey it's all i'm saying is that as as you're coming on here and I want you to do stuff made by the Lord, not because uh Misha and I. You know what I'm saying? Well right. no, I already feel led to do that because like I said, I said it on live before Misha said that. So yeah, I already said that. I said matter of fact, I'll make a video. That's what I did that I'm gonna send you, it. you don't have to you could all of that telling people that you're getting high and all this, that's really, you don't have to do that. Before, right? You don't you don't have yeah, to say I was smoking, to, just say I was deceived. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You have to remember you have to, even that, 
right? The enemy will want you to spill all your guts. If you're going to do it, tell them all, right? Some yep. people would mm-hmm. never come back from that, right? Yep. But yep. at the same time, just tell the Lord. You know, you just, you, you test the spirit. You talk to the Lord about what you have to come out with, whatever. But that was deception. Because as soon as you got on the phone with us, you knew that whatever was going on was, it was no question of what we were saying. You was questioning online, but you wasn't questioning. But I understand your position at that point. And it could have been pride. I don't know how I would have acted if somebody would have came, you know, start coming at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. But we just have to, you know, you, you're you human. And I know that. I know that you're also a woman of God. I just know that you got some stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? I know God didn't lead you to call me on the phone and talk to me shit for every day, for weeks and months, just so... You can get tossed in the fire. No, I don't think that at all. I think that you got clean enough to do it. God had to remove us so he could clean me up, clean you up, and clean me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I still got some cleaning to do. And and it was revealed to me, like I said. Oh, hold on. What you tell me that Misha's my friend? And she was only the